The option to carry a passenger egg gives teams a way to boost their score, but they will lose points if the passenger is injured. I think we should have both eggs in the tournament because we have a really good design and if we and both eggs survive, then we could get a lot of extra points even if it takes up our entire time. Yeah, but isn't that a little risky? If we take up our entire time just to build this car and our passenger egg dies, then we're going to be losing tons and tons of points. A chart in the rules shows how points are awarded. At the end of the first ramp, this team earned 100 points for the driver egg and then another 50 points for the passenger egg. I don't know. Our egg survived, but it's getting kind of rickety. I th I'm afraid we're going to lose a lot of points. No, if we can just take out this passenger egg and everything will be all right. Because if this egg breaks, we're going to be losing tons of points. And if we just take out this egg, we might be losing points that we could have that we could have won. But at least it'll keep us from losing a bunch of points. On the second ramp, the team added another 150 points for the driver ring. They could have earned an additional 75 points for the passenger ring, but they decided not to risk it. If they would have decided to carry a passenger ring and it broke, they would have lost 100 points. I think we should do, I think we should add the passenger ring back in because I saw that we don't, it's not as rickety as it is and that uh, maybe it'll survive. And we would get 100 points if it survives. It's worth a shot because it's pretty good. It's pretty sturdy. Let's give it another try. Well, our team's driver egg was ejected, so they're not able to accumulate any additional points. But if the driver egg had survived, our team would have gotten an additional 200 points for the driver egg plus an additional 100 points for the passenger ring, added to the 300 points that they already had. <laughs>